Hello, everybody, on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. I'm Jim Powers, the voice of the Saints. And as always, we get a great opportunity to catch up with our Saints of the Week, the student athletes that were voted the best of the week here at Maryville University. And joining me is one of our two cross country members that were voted Saints of the Week, Kyle Deacon. And Kyle, school record last week over at Forest Park. You had to be really pleased with your performance and how the team performed as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Anytime I get a school record, it's awesome. Um, but anytime the team performed as well as we did, it's even better, you know, beating teams like SLU, beating teams like Truman, uh, almost beating a Division One Arkansas State. It was a really great turnout for us, definitely. Talk a little bit about the race, you know, to set a school record and, and, and PR. You've got to run a very smart tactical race, especially the course over at Forest Park. Kind of walk us through the race and how it went for you from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to go for the win. Honestly, I, I really I, I knew that I had a chance but uh, I didn't know exactly who was going to be there. So I just tried to run up front, just tried to make sure that nobody got away from me too early, just tried to stay on that top guy. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of people moving up and down, back and forth, uh, but I just tried to stay constant. And then around the 4,000-meter mark, uh, the two front runner guys kind of took off, and then Arkansas State kind of creeped up on me and got me at the line. But um, fifth place, I mean, it's, it's, it's still, I mean, I'm still pretty happy with that, so definitely. I know a lot of times, and I get the chance to go out to Terre Haute for the Division I National Championships, and you see a lot of the teams running in packs together, and then finally around the 400, you know, the 4,000K mark, that's when they start to split, and you see the, the leaders really take pace. Is that kind of how you like to run and how the Saints like to run? Do you like to get in that pack and keep together early and then make the move when you need to? Well, yeah, I mean, we've never really had much of like a, a, a big group, but I mean, this year now we have guys who are, I could be number four on any given day, I could be number one on any given day, I could be five, who knows, number two. So we have a good solid group up top and I think that's what we're gonna try and do from now on because that's what the great teams do, the Oklahoma States, the Oregons, all them, they, they just run in a big clump and just move around the course like that and that's how they win so that's what we want to do I mean that's the neat thing for me standing up in the in the media tower watching just the different teams and the different colors just kind of stay in that grouping until late in the race and then you see everybody it's it's every man for himself at that point definitely definitely um, and yeah like I said that's what we're trying to do now uh, Casey Humphrey he took over uh, at one point he was ahead of me Zach Boyle was ahead of me at one point Anthony Allen was on my side uh, I heard Clay's footsteps behind me Clay Jones so I mean we were they were all around me I saw the white and red um, so that was it was really cool yeah definitely that's a good feeling when you have that around you talk about going forward to this week obviously you know get a couple days just to kind of cool down just you know get the body back acclimated especially with the weather too I mean great conditions we were talking to coach Kaufman a little bit ago about the conditions but get ready to go out to uh, Nebraska to run out there what's your week going to be like leading up for that race uh, it's just going to be the same old, same old. I mean, I've been doing the same thing since all summer. I've been just training my body to keep doing that, and we're not going to change anything now, you know, to that'll maybe jeopardize later. So I'm just going to try and keep the same kind of mileage, same kind of workouts, and uh, make sure I'm doing, making right decisions and doing what I need to do because, I mean, I've never been the greatest uh, big meat runner. So, I mean, this is, this is a race where I'm going to try and change that. So. Absolutely. For those that don't know, what are you going into? What's your favorite part about Maryville? Why did you decide to come to Maryville? Well, I'm a psychology, sociology double major. Um, I picked up a coaching minor as well. I'm awesome. really excited about that. Um, I uh, actually transferred from Millican University Division Three in my freshman year. Um, but I love Maryville. I love the close, the proximity to St. Louis, the proximity to my hometown of O'Fallon, Missouri. Um, it's I'm just right in the middle. I can go back see my family. I can go downtown. Uh, which is great. Um, I love the closeness of the uh, the community, the campus, how I can get to class from my apartment in five minutes. That's awesome. Don't have to take a bus. So <laughs> that's uh, that's great. And uh, I love the team. Uh, coach Kaufman's a great coach, uh, one of the best I've had. And uh, I love having a team around me, which I've never really had. So that's also great. No doubt about it. Well, congratulations. Great week last week, and we're looking forward to big things moving forward. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Kyle Deacon, one of our Saints of the Week here at Maryville University. As always, it's always great to spot, put the spotlight on our great student athletes. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. I'm Jim Powers, and go Saints.